Chris Hargreaves, chance for Torquay! Chris Hargreaves, the captain! If he stays on side, Carlisle checks instead. He's looking for Ben in Sills! Hello, welcome back to part two. It's a big Kelly's Corner. Thanks to everyone who's been writing, typing, everything. Uh, all week, my Twitter just is going off and off with loads of people getting quite angry, as you would expect. But those are valid points. Tom's going to try his best to get as many of them in. Um, you sure you can have a little rest now, lads? You just crack on. Yeah, go on. <laughs> go uh, on, Tom. <laughs> right, here we go. Kelly's Corner right, this Tom. week. So um, two questions, one on Facebook, one on Twitter. Uh, thank you, everyone who uh, got involved this week. A uh, lot of interaction, so I'll get right in. So on Facebook, the question was, after Gary Johnson's right type of supporter slash loyal supporter comments that, uh, that he made prior to the FA Cup defeat to Maidstone, has his comments been the final straw for you to stop attending games? You might have been planning to attend in the near future. So we got couple of quotes on this so nick Pont uh, potkin says i will continue to make the 380 mile round trip to support the team i love and support when i can his comments hurt and sadly says a lot about where the club are right now great very mm. much so uh yeah. we that then have exactly well, isn't it like these are people well working people you know mm. it's hard enough for us to go mm. and it's like 14 miles obviously not mm. for you tom <laughs> but like um yeah Joke, absolute joke, Gary Johnson. Uh, Mark Hepworth says we are traveling down to Hampton on the 28th, even introducing my nine year old to a family tradition of supporting Torquay. It's his turn to suffer the years of torture now. Thank you very much for that one, Mark. Uh, James Bailey says, For me, it's the audacity of it. For me and my two lads to go, it's probably 50 to 60 pounds when you mm -hmm. factor in food and drink. I can get an annual pass at Creedy for 100 pounds. So when I spend that kind of money, if the entertainment I've paid for isn't of the right standard, I have a right to complain. It I doesn't agree. matter if it's true, a compliment. Uh, it uh, sorry, it doesn't matter if it's true. A complaint is a feeling of dissatisfaction. To tell your customers that you're the wrong type of customer is terrible customer service. It's not the reason I don't go. I simply can only afford one game per month. But when you've relegated us, are performing horrifically and want to respond by lashing out at your customers, it leaves a bad taste in the mouth. Thank you very much for that, oh, James. Right. One thing I'd say about that as well, Tommy, is he's got a, he's got a, that's a great shout. Creedy is mega, especially the log <laughs> flume with the water rides. Oh. I'm all over that. It's not as good as Trago, but there we go. Uh, as Harry as well. Lockheed has been compared to a roller coaster ride. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Harry Lock <laughs> says I won't be going to another game until he's gone. Unfortunately, he's asked to be judged after ten games. That was fifty plus games ago, and we're seventh in the National League South and out of the FA Cup this year. He needs to go before the rest of the fans do. Clark mm -hmm. Osborne and his weaponized incompetence is going to be the death of Torquay in a few years. And finally, we have Craig Hughes, who says, I can't believe he's come out and started making comments about fans who follow this team up and down the country by saying they're not the right type of fans. Well, Mr. Johnson, you're not the right type of manager for us, and you've overstayed your welcome by a good 18 months or so. Once a manager starts blaming everyone but himself, it's time mm. to go, as it has been for a while. Football has moved on. His football and tactics and management coaching skills haven't. Thank you very much for that, Craig. And thank you to everyone yeah. who contributed for the Facebook. A lot of passionate comments and responses there, which I think are all very fair and valid mm -hmm. uh, comments mm -hmm. to yeah. make. Mm -hmm. So we go on to Twitter. Just bear with me one second while I load yeah, this up. What are your thoughts on it, by the way, while Tom does that? For me, I literally felt like, oh, day, I didn't want to, I don't want to go to You didn't go games. on Saturday, did you? No. Nah. And I honestly, it's, I mean, I'm in Torquay anyway because I'm in haircut and same family, but it's like, I've never not wanted to go to the Torquay Games much. I've got a season ticket. I'll pay my money for the club, but disgraceful. I, I, I hate it. I wish I, there's a, I said to I said to my dad at the weekend. I think that there, there's a part of me. I, I don't mean this, but there's a part of me that wishes I could be that annoyed and just say sorry, then I won't go. Mm -hmm. That's just so, not how I'm wired. I'm afraid. So, mm -hmm. so that's not. And, and I, you know, I respect people who you know who, who do do that. And yeah, we all have financial. Um, that, but that's the beauty of a season ticket that if you can, you know, that once you've, you know, once you've bought it and you've, you know, you kind of, it doesn't cost you week to week, does it? Which is not, which is not, but if it, not everyone has that. So, um, so you that kind almost of almost makes you want to go, go don't you, when you've had it. You yeah, absolutely. And I if think, I was paying but, now, game to game, no. Absolutely. £20 a week. And of course, four home games in four Saturdays is also hard work. 
um, especially when two, mm-hmm. two of them were cut, so they were a bit cheaper. But even and so, that's still a lot of money, well. isn't it? When mm-hmm. you've got family and kids and stuff. Yeah. But my instinct, my reaction to that, into I was just, I was just amazed. I think probably because mm-hmm. um, I, you know, I was listening to it thinking what, and then I, I then I soon went into who the hell thought that was a good idea after that <laughs> once I yeah. listened to it. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I still, I still went sad because. I just go and it's a chance to spend a bit of time with my dad who yeah. goes every week. So it's, mm, it's a social thing. thing. Yeah, and that's the thing, it's family. It so often is, isn't it? You know, it's, it's a chance to see people. and uh, Yeah, it's a social thing. It's not that's, the football that's, that's dragging me there particularly nah, at the moment. Nah. You know? And I get to, <laughs> I, got to see Chris's nob- I got to see Chris's knobbly knees and his shorts as well. Uh, so uh, yeah. 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 yeah, and the pastels, <laughs> they've gone by the time you got there, obviously. But... I also <laughs> waited around to give Gary a, you know, few of my feelings afterwards <laughs> was, um, but well, not good enough <laughs> angry don was back <laughs> everybody was so passive and quiet in bristow as i actually stood out i mean i haven't got a loud voice but you know a few people look around me that oh hello mm-hmm. yeah it's, but even outside, then, it's not like that pop yeah. side no one's friendly i don't think Bristow, i was bristow's think... quite mute aren't they chris well, yeah. yeah i wasn't passive second half i can tell you yeah <laughs> i wouldn't have been Mm. I think I would have been. I'm quite resigned at the moment. When I saw the score, I, first time in years, I've looked at Torquay's score and gone, well, saw that one coming, didn't you? I didn't know how well we apparently played in the first. I went, oh, great. Well done. Mm. Yeah. Hope you got the right fans. That was kind of my attitude. Usually I'm like, oh, one nil down, FA Cup. Joe, mm. I just didn't get angry. I just had no emotion. I'm like, Two nil. Mm. Oh, mm. great. You need to liven yourself up then, Sam, don't you? Mm. <laughs> I will be at the weekend, don't worry. <laughs> well, uh, for me, like I said at the end of part one, you know, it just reiterated. Um, can't say that word blimey sorry <laughs> reiterated that thank you that um <laughs> my belief that gary johnson shouldn't be our manager anymore i mean again mm-hmm. it for though you know fa cup season ticket holder you have to pay to get in for the fa cup games you surely want to be trying to big it up as a big game and just to criticize again the fan base who have mm-hmm. stuck by you thick and thin and you know we've traveled in big numbers not just he's had he's season. had an awful lot of patience and loyalty Oh, yeah, many other then, clubs with yeah. fan base. But at the end of the day, I'm a Talk United supporter. I'll go and what you know, support Talk United through the good times, the few good times we have in a lot of the oh. bad times. Yeah. You know, Gary Johnson will at some point not be our manager anymore. Mm. Um, it's just a case of how much longer is he going to hold on to power, mm. as long as he wants, by the sounds of it. Yeah. But yeah. and I know, and I'm no, I'm no entrepreneur, but even I can work out that slagging off the people that that come through and watch your product. Not a great idea, is it? It's not no. great business sense, that is it? No, it'd be nice. okay. It'd be okay if you, we'd have some good games, and you, you can't see enough hurt around the squad, the management, the the whole club. You know. Oh yeah, but they are because Gary says so. Do they yeah. hate he losing so. enough? It feels like they've slipped into that. Oh well. Yeah, no, they just don't look bothered to me. You know, mm. like we need to see season, that, they, don't we? Still? Yeah, they just uh, last season they always looked like they were there and. Plan for him, and not one point away he's lost the dressing room. But they just look, they look miserable, they don't look bothered. And I don't blame them, uninspired and just need a bit of fresh ideas, you know. Don't we all? Did you guys who were there, um, because we kind of brought it up last week, you know, at no point last season, even when we were playing at our absolute worst, did it look like that the players were not playing for Gary? Mm. Do you do you still think that's the case, or do you think there might be I, a little? I, bit I of... think there's a few that are losing place. I don't think there's enough home truths being told in the dressing room. I think they're a group of nice guys. You know, they they get on well. They we enjoy each other's company. There's no fear factor. There's nobody, you know, calling out I, people and saying you're not doing enough here. We can do better than yeah. this. I, I just don't see enough anger and. I just don't see enough of Acer Hall's a nice captain. I'm sure he's a good guy. He leads by himself on the pitch, but you need some people who are going to shake that dressing room up. Like like the old Sills days when you have players who, you know, I'd imagine there was a fair few arguments and disagreements in that dressing room, but boy, did they, they sorted things out, didn't they? I yeah. just don't see And they were a young team, a lot of them as well. Yeah. It doesn't feel like there's many people, there's many John Gittins characters kind of pinning people against walls, does there, and all of that. Yeah. I, don't, I, I, I'm never a huge fan of this. You, but you need that. Oh, yeah, but you of, do sometimes. Oh, you, you need people who are going to be upset because you're losing and, yeah. and call people out for not performing. And I think I, it's I, a big I, I've never been... point. I think it's been lost in football. I think if you listen to, I remember I said that a few yeah. years Anthony Gerrard, yeah. like, you know, football was 10 years ago. They, they can't play in football anymore because you can't, people, you, you know, you've got, yeah. you know, they're young there. This thing you can't call people out. They don't have the mentality for it anymore. In my generation and below, I'm not like it in a lot of workplaces. I would. I've never been a huge fan of this. 
They're not playing for the manager. They've, he's lost the dressing mm. room. They're not trying all this. You have to, this is their job. Yeah. You know, they're not doing this for a bit of fun, like the majority of this league. This is their job. Yeah. So you would hope that that would mean that, you know, mm. we all have off days at work, don't we? I guess is the way to look mm. at it. But so I'm never a huge fan of that. Oh, he's not, they're not playing for him and all mm. that. But you certainly don't get a feel of apathy around the, you know, the group in terms of, you know, oh, you know, they, they've given up, they want him gone and all that. But then again, having mm. said that, it's their job and he's their manager. So yeah. Does if you're not good enough like their manager job. at work? Yeah, exactly. I'd love someone like, like It's like with any side, and that you need a decent mix of characters, don't you? You need the people who are going to get angry, the people who, who are calm, the, you know, the people who just do their job every week. If you've got a good mix, I just don't think we've got that kind of balance. I'd have to have someone think. like Guy Branston in our team. You know, he was. Yeah, a, I mean, you had Hargreaves, leader. didn't you? Mm. Led by example, the old team, but you also had characters who, you know, you could tell they would give reminders to the other players. And that. I just don't see enough. Shouting and that you know forceful mm. attitude. We're one 0 down, lads. Roll your sleeves up. We can do this. Mm. Not seeing it. I right. Agree. So let's go into Twitter. So this week's question at the time of recording, which is the nineteenth of October at thirteen minutes past eight in the evening, uh, our next three fixtures lie as this. So we have Welling at home, who currently um, lie twenty second in the league, followed by Western away who are currently 17th in the league. And then we're away at Hampton and Richmond Borough, uh, who are currently 15th in the table. Would anything less than nine points be considered a failure? Yes. Yes. <laughs> He's got his programme out. No, I, 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 it happened to you on the table. I've just talked to myself. Lashes You're not looking at your Gavin. Ryan Hansen uh, middle mm. spread. No, no. No, it's Brett McGavin this one. Oh, um, I just oh, had a look. And I thought, in the bin. Uh, Lapsley's only missed one game. So he's going to miss the whole of the second half of the season then? Hmm. Oh, yeah, but that's incredible considering how many games we've had. So that just occurred to me when we were talking about it then, yeah. No, the answer to the question, Tom, yes, absolutely. Nine, it's nine, it has to, if we're going to win the league, it's nine points. Move on. Scary Johnson written en- enough in that programme, by the way. Oh, now, funny you should mention that because it's here. Look at that for a programme notes that there's, there's nothing in it. <laughs> nothing there. Like, you know, you could write, you know, some, some clubs write like double page spreads. Hey, look at that. What's that? 100 words? Dom's gone two, pe- two pecks in them out before the game. But... <laughs> <laughs> Lots of, lots of nice pictures, though. Nice pictures. Anyway. Well, I, don't, I don't think we need nine points to be promotion contenders because that would be so We're still only 13, 14 games in it. But you'd like wow, to we think need that we, we, need to get away, crap. we need to get at least six or seven. Uh, yeah, but these sides are crap. If yeah, we can't beat these sides, then yeah. we're going to go up, are we? That's uh, more uh, my but point. I'm not saying if we don't get nine, we'll say it's the end of, you know, end of the season. No, but... The other thing that worries me as well is if you look at... Now, I've got my program. I might as well refer to it. Um, if you look at November, A, there's a lot of games. But B, there's a lot of mm-hmm. difficult games. Bath City, Yeovil, Havant, Weymouth, Thornton, Eastbourne, Dart. There's a lot of games there. Yeah. And there's a lot of sides at top half. So, we almost need to get some points in the bag to you know, to allow yourself the odd bad game. But That Havant yeah. game scares me because they've only won, what, once this season? Yeah. They beat Yeovil against Yeovil as well, wasn't it? Sheridan was saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so back on to topic. Uh, Alan Will says he's an optimist, but even nine points is too optimistic for him. He thinks an absolute minimum would be five points, one win, two draws, but in reality, we need at least seven. Yeah. You'd take uh, seven, wouldn't you? you take seven. As a minimum, i take seven, but it has to be nine yeah. for me. Yeah. Uh, Rachel, she says promotion, aspirations, and an ambitious manager with a robust approach to the squad. Uh, strength, nine points, and supporters solidarity. Alas, this is Gary Johnson, so we should be grateful with just three. Jamie Hughes says, by rights, we should be smashing all three of these teams by at least three goals, but the team looks absolutely bereft of confidence right now. Mm -hmm. A game like we had against Hungerford is what we need. We look dangerous and confident in that game. Since then, we've dropped off dramatically. I think that was because Hungerford were really, really poor. They were so bad that day. Yeah, so centre, their centre backs made me look mobile. In fairness. <laughs> no disrespect to those guys, but that's the slowest team I've ever seen at play. Um, Ryan Clark, amazing <laughs> keeper. But, well. I mean, he had nothing in front of him, but he didn't have it, play moves must be a bit of a curse for him. Simon Bittlestone says anything less than 12 points from these three games in the owner's position is untenable. I think that's my favourite uh, quote. Uh, of he's either very bad at maths or being ironic. One of the, <laughs> one of the two. <laughs> uh, Craig Hughes says it has to be three wins. No excuses now after the incompetence yeah. of the last three games. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have Zach who says uh, he really couldn't tell us, to be honest, midfield is so under par and we're leaking goals. Um, T says against these three teams, yes, that should be nine points. 
Jake Reeves says it should be nine points, but at this time he would take seven. Mm -hmm. uh, Pete Milford says, yes, I'd take seven with reluctance. Uh, Jonathan Jones says seven as a minimum. Start taking some chances and you never know. Uh, point, tall point, take there. your chances. Take your chances. Tall point boy says, uh, really, you think nine points looking at those? I'd say based on what I know, five is more likely. Uh, Jason Stevens says nine points would be great, but he can't see it being any more than four points. Smuffle says, yes, I don't expect nine, anticipate perhaps five, but any club with serious aspirations to win this league would and should win all three of these games against those struggling teams. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Peter Kluwer, who says, if we are genuine title contenders, then nine points. Uh, absolutely. Uh, at Disco Barry says, could be and should be nine, but the way our defence plays, we'll be lucky to come away with five or even worse, four. If that were to happen, then surely Johnson's time is up. Um, Kevin Palmer says, just wants Gary Johnson gone. And Pete Hammer says, we'll be lucky to get four points, to be fair. Um, an absolute show. Heads have dropped. Uh, players and managers picking up easy money, in his opinion. <sighs> Thank you, everyone, for all of your oh, uh, comments this week. We've got there. What just a corner, the Tommy. My life. Just the, just the one, just the one miracle error this week. That's pretty good for me. Oh, very well. I'm at, I'm at the old day. days where they will print it out on bits of paper on a fax machine. You'd be uh -huh. there to see you, would we? Didn't you? Yeah. Didn't need a program, did I? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, yeah, the general consensus, I think, is, you know, seven is the bare, bare minimum. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ideally, it has to be nine. But let's remember the last time we played Western in the league, we got one point out of six and they ended up bottom of this division. So it'll be well, tough game. Yeah. scored an injury time goal in that game. Right? Mm. So Western. So. They'll, they'll be... play up, won't they? It's a local-ish local derby. They'll mm. be ready for it, won't they? They'll be up for that. Pushing a bit there, Dom. Local derby. Well, Local-ish. <laughs> Ish, Ish, yeah. yeah. So, mm. But like last yeah. time, they'll be up for it, won't they? It'll, you know, it's a big game for them, mm. isn't it? Disrespect is that the closest them. game geographically, mileage wise? Uh, uh, possibly. Is it while Turo or Plymouth Park wise? Yeah, closer. Yeah. Than West closer. Yeah. Was it just oh, true, I've got them. Mm. Yeah, true. Yeah. No, I, I think a big shout out just on the on Saturday's game. Big shout out to Nigel Jones, who's a guy I indirectly have got to know him through because he's a member at Surrey County Cricket Club, who's a Welling fan, and he does their um he does a lot of their radio work. So um, that so he's going to be at the game of the weekend. So shout out to Nigel who'll be at the game. I hope mm -hmm. you enjoy your day and lose. <laughs> I mean, if we can't beat Badly. them and score goals against Wellington, you know, it's it's pretty tragic, isn't it? They're twenty second. Yeah. They've conceded plenty of goals. They've only got nine points, I think. So I think we've got a decent record against them, yeah. but then we did against Hemel, didn't we? And look how that ended up. So. <laughs> True. Yeah, it depends, true. It depends true. how they approach it. Do they do they approach it with a part of the bus mentality, you know, or do they try and nick an early goal? You know, surely they notice that we leak goals, you know, quite early on in games. We tend to give the away team advantage, and mm. I don't know. It's you know, I think they're all tough. You know, they're all going to be tough games to an extent. I mean, Hampton and Richmond Borough have, you know, they've had a few uh, wins in the last couple of games, so going there is not going to be an easy place. Um. Yeah, but it's got to be nine, nine from nine for me. But I, I can't see us winning all three. I agree. I think they need to. He needs to put all the players in a very large cage and poke them with a very large stick for ten minutes before kickoff because the game, the start of the game, has just not been. We were better on Saturday, but they need to come out ready to tear someone apart. Oh, he, said really he said they were caged. He said they were caged tigers the other day, every week, mm. and they turned yeah. out like what that. Happened? My, my, my cats are scarier than some of those tigers, in which case. <laughs> but I want to know what happens from the moment, you know, he says, that, oh, yeah, we G him up in the dressing room, mm -hmm. we go out, and then they go out on the pitch and they just go missing. What? I don't know. I'm just... They might need to put some fans in there who've worked all week and spent their hard-earned money to go and watch them. Maybe to get, maybe they could go in and G him up a bit. Mm -hmm. So There's a problem getting them G'd up. So obviously with this weekend, the attendances are going to be inflated somewhat with the community day. So if the attendance is under, what, 2700 ish yeah then if it's under that then that's quite a few missing from the last league game you know what was it two mm. 2400 Four. in the league mm. be interesting yeah. you know nice yeah we're, we're gonna win on saturday you heard it here first bye three nil though. three nil one nil no sorry nigel um two nil 
Two nil Torquay. I'll say three one then, because we don't like keeping clean sheets, do we? This is true. Is it and Ross Marshall's season? available again, so. <laughs> Another redemption. Oh, do I go ahead or do I go my Come on, heart? Tommy, get your get your thoughtful face off. Come on. Right. Um I will go two one talkie, but it wouldn't surprise me if it's a one all draw. That sounds more stressful than I was hoping for. Yeah. I don't want any more stress. Mm. But you've like as well. Western predictions as well. Yeah. No, I do feel like we'll score goals, but especially away from home, I think we'll give we'll give away goals. I think I'm gonna be a Ed Sheeran, a uh, listener, two on Torquay. Ah, uh, I was going to say that. Yeah, well, okay. I'll say three one, one, three one Torquay. Uh, will Ash will streak away and complete his hat trick in injury time? Three one. Two one to Western. What? Oh. Yeah, I found Get him out. I've predicted a win every game this season. How stupid am I? Two one Torquay because I can't see, uh, how, you know, another result we're going to win that by. So two, two one, one to Western. At least oh. Ash will probably score, won't he? Mm. But then again, so will Luke Pearce. So, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> an important... The next, next mm. you know, the Welling game is very important because if we don't pull out a win there at Playmore, Hugely. then that atmosphere, and, you know, yeah. Don, we were referencing it in the WhatsApp group earlier, that mm. could be a very ugly atmosphere in the away end come Tuesday night if we don't come away mm. with a win on Saturday. It's one of those games where the, the crowd are going to be right on top of the sort of players, that, you know, you're right it's off the... Yeah. Right next to the players, aren't you? So they'll yeah. be able to hear everything. So it could get very, uh, yeah, it could be a lot of angst yeah. if it comes to it. We, we Things don't see. go well. You might want to lock your bins, lock your bins down. Could be. Oh, Tom will be starting the trouble, I expect, Tom, won't you? Yeah, I will. I was going to be that, Tom. Anyway, <laughs> hang Chris. Right. So are you, are, you all, are you all going to Western? Yes. On a work I'm day. No, I'm not going to Western. Oh. You can watch it on National League TV, though, Don, probably. Yeah, it's, we'll be the wrong protesting. <laughs> we'll be the wrong types of fans. Yeah. I'll see how I go for that one, day. <laughs> Booked our tickets for Taunton. Yeah, that's the big one. But... Mm-hmm. Buy them before they sell out, Yellow Army. Might have overtaken them by then. You never know. Is it, well, we have a, presumably we'll have a smaller allocation for Taunton than we were Western. Taunton's smaller. I than think they're only old, like 2,500. Yeah. But the tickets have been on sale for a while, so there are mm. some still available. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, 850 to Western is still, I don't know, she's the lower support. And it will probably it? be more mm. than that. But yeah. I don't know if it's the support thinking this is our chance You'll have to, to say voice. That. I've got my away ticket. I'm fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a lot of people will well, think it's a chance to voice their, um, you know, mm. yeah. angst. I say I'm going, but my dad. My dad booked them, so if he's bugging it up, then I might I, I might not be going. But as far as I know, I've got one. So he said we have. So uh, thank you very much for joining us this week, Yellow Army. Um, so Sam will be fired up come Saturday, Yellow Army. Don't worry, will you, Sam? He's going to be there. Does you're coming on Saturday, Sam, will you? Yes, probably. I'll be the right type of fan, though. So there we are. Yeah, yeah you better behave. You. Yeah, you better. Well, yeah. Thank you for joining us this week. We'll see you next week. Here's Hargreaves, the chance for Torquay! Chris Hargreaves, the captain! If he stays on side, Carlisle checks instead. He's looking for Bennett. Sills!